on in. Kelly, Angie, how you doing? Thanks. Good. Hey, so welcome to my store. I have loved your blog and I've had so much fun reading it. You've given me all kinds of great resources, so thank you. Thank you. Hey, so this is Laguna Green and we're like an exclusively green kitchen and bath showroom, the first in Southern California. And um, this is a big green experiment, so I wanted to experiment with all the materials that I sell. And so, um, so for example, most of our lights are LED lights. Our floor is a bamboo floor that's finished in a natural vegetable oil called Wopa oil, which is just cold pressed vegetable oil. Um, on this wall over here, we, and all our painted surfaces is all mythic, non-toxic, no um, VOC paint is the only no carcinogen paint. Um, and on that wall over there, we have a natural limestone plaster called Eco Stucco, um, which is um, totally healthy, no VOCs, it breathes, it's um, highly acidic, so that you can't have any mold, mold and mildew can't grow in it. So I have a low flow shower head up at the top, and I have a piles that are um, made from a high content of fly ash and also recycled content. Kodo has a big commitment to the environment, and their faucet is an eco-sensor faucet, so it has a sensor in it. It has a, its own little power plant, so as the water runs, it actually generates its own power. Wow. And so it stores that power, so that's what runs the faucet. Over here we have some really cool flooring that is this flooring. It actually comes from Germany, but this is the fall-off, what they call the fall-off from the wood that they mill. The internal core that it's mounted to is all FSC certified, which is Forestry Stewardship Council. And then this is hand brushed, hand stained, and finished with the natural vegetable oil, local oil. This is a countertop made out of bamboo and recycled paper called Ecotop. Yeah. That's good scratch, you can just sand it out. Like you would, yeah, you can just sand it out or buff it out, and then put a little extra polish on it, and you're done. And then I have these really cool countertops, and if you pull out that, yeah. um, Top over there, that drawer over there. Wow. It's, this will show you my concrete and recycled glass countertops. And this is vitrazo on this side. And that's ice stone on that side. And, um, and then I have something called alchemy. This is actually 60% post-industrial aluminum shavings. That's in a petroleum resin. Some people don't like it because it's petroleum resin. But the rest of my stuff is concrete and recycled glass. And what I like about vitrazo is that they split their glass between their wine bottles, sky vodka bottles, beer bottles, and a combination of all three, which we call DUI. And then, and then these are actually the same countertop. One just has a, the dark patina added to it. So that one's made out of car windshields. This one is made out of um, stained glass window fragments from a stained glass window factory. And this one is actually um, the windows from an office building and an office building teardown. If I just got this thing in, this is called Bioglass is 100% recycled, post-consumer recycled glass. Um, and that's countertop material as well. This stuff is called Kiray. I actually have this in the bathroom too, I can show you. This is sorghum straw, which is a byproduct of sorghum harvesting. And sorghum is a grain that's used to feed cattle and things like that. And this company takes it and uh, laminates it up either in very thin sheets or thicker sheets like this one is. It's about 30 millimeters and this can be used for bar tops, flooring, um, you know, anything kind of that you can imagine. Um, and then there's thinner sheets that can be used on the wall like as a panel kind of thing or in, in cabinetry or something like that. Uh, Oceanside Tile is a glass tile and um, all of their tiles have recycled content and I carry those that have at least 50% recycled content. Lumacore and 3Form. I really like 3Form as a company because um, they make these architectural panels. Their panels are at least 50% recycled resin. Um, and they, what I really like is they have a full circle program where they work with artisans in other countries to purchase the wares that they already make and then they support the economic well-being of those artisans in those other countries. These are really neat because this is called living glass. Um, in the center it has 100% recycled resin and then in it it has these neat organic materials. And you lit it from the side with an LED light. Wow. It makes a really, really cool kind of architectural feature either as a Beautiful. wall or as a backsplash or something like that. And I developed a leaf rating for all my products so that um, we know what makes them green. So I look at the leaf stands for whether it's locally made, um, whether it conserves energy or water, 
whether it contributes to indoor air quality, and then you look at the formulation of the product. And it has to have at least 50% recycled content, or be rapidly renewable, or reclaimed, or come from a managed forest. So it's ice stone, which is beer bottles and mother of pearl, um, and, and that's in concrete. And ice stone is a product that comes out of Brooklyn. Also a great product, about 75% recycled glass. Backsplash from Bedrock Tile, and they're out of Seattle, and this is 100% recycled glass, and these are all handmade tiles. They get the glass from the recycle bins, essentially melt them down, and make tiles in all shapes and sizes and colors. Mm -hmm. All of the appliances I have are um, Bosch Energy Star appliances. The Bosch, Bosch is a company that's been committed to the environment for a long time, but um, so this is considered an Energy Star and Water Sense product, so it uses very little water, and it Energy Star is a government rating that um, uh, tells you whether or not an appliance falls within the Energy Star standards, and then within that they'll tell you kind of how much energy this product will use in a year, and they try to also estimate how much cost savings there is related to it. Um, and then in the bathroom, we have a couple cool things. We have the key ray on the wall. So again, this is the sorghum straw that was harvested. And we insulated it with a denim insulation. So wow. this is the ultra-touch denim insulation, which essentially is, um, you know, the fall off from when they make Levi's. Yeah. Um, and then this is uh, the eco stucco that we have on the walls. And this is that natural limestone plaster. We have cork on the floor that also absorbs sound, so it's, it creates a sound barrier, and also is very um, has a softness to it, so it's easier to stand on. And then this is really cool. This is a sink from Gore Design in Tempe, Arizona, and they have this is um, glass fiber reinforced concrete and uh, they have a high content of fly ash in here, and they use very little water or electricity in the curing of this. This is the Chroma toilet. This is the lowest flush toilet on the market, so it's dual wow. flush. So you press one for one and two for two, essentially. And um, it um, flushes 0.8 when you flush half a, half a tank, and you, it flushes 1.28, and so it's considered a high efficiency toilet. When you buy this type of toilet, you can get a rebate up to sometimes half the cost of it. And then all of our cabinetry is um, by Laguna Bamboo. Laguna Bamboo is a company that's been around for a long time. Um, he just does, you know, really excellent work. All of all of his stuff uses very, you know, high-end hardware that's all soft closed. And then <laughs> in here we have Lumacore panels, which again are the acrylic panels that have natural leaves in it. Wow. Natural bamboo. Um, mm, towels, gosh. which are like the softest towels on the face of the planet. They feel like a chenille throw. Yeah, you, yeah. you got one of these, didn't mm -hmm. you, Kelly? What do you think about your I like it. Towel. Yeah. I like this throat, too. It's so soft. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know, you can't. And then I carry the most delicious candles on the face of the planet. I have one. Everybody walks by and they sniff it. They're just like, that's the most amazing smell. Yeah. It smells, I don't even like it. It's like having therapy. It smells so good. <laughs> These are lumen candles. They're made by a guy in Long Beach. He makes them literally in his kitchen on the stove. But they're all soy wax, so they burn longer. They don't have any of that black soot because the black soot comes yeah. from um, petroleum. Most, most candles are paraffin wax. Most candles have a little bit of metal in the wick. These are all cotton wicks. Wow. Um, and then he also uses um, glass that isn't etched or anything because it, they use highly caustic uh, chemicals to etch glass. Wow. All my plants are by the GCD. So he does all containers, succ succulents and containers. Mm -hmm. And I literally water this once every six to eight weeks. So I just test it every couple weeks or so. And if it comes out dry like it did just then, then I fill this with water, and I just put one squirt there, and I'm set for another four weeks or so. Spray it. Whoa. And yet they're like using it in like hospitals and schools oh and my stuff. God. Like it's just water? It's just tap water, but it goes through here, and then it ionizes it, and then it gives it like a negative charge, and then that negative charge acts like little magnets. But it also kills the bacteria. That one. So that's the good green. Thank you so yeah, much. Thanks for coming, I really No problem. It's nice to meet you.